Hi there guys, welcome to another video from Get Ready for University YouTube channel. This is Raji and I'm making this video to tell you about the halls of residence in your universities and which one to choose, which one not to choose, what is more convenient for you and all that stuff. The first thing you need to ask yourself is which halls of residence is more convenient for you. So you'll need to choose one that is quite close to your campus if you'd like to because well if you wake up 10 minutes before your lecture you'll need to rush or if uh, if you're a postgrad or a mature student or just anybody who'd like to have a nice and quiet setting and away from all the noise and the people doing their pop crawls and whatnot uh, you could choose something that is up a hill or you know 20 minutes away but hey you'll need to balance it out because if you wake up 10 minutes before you're not getting signed in uh, you could always uh, choose to live near the city centre or like, you know, somewhere that is that has much more population with cl clubs and pubs and nightclubs and bars and whatnot. So that uh, everything is close by to you, you know, the train station, the grocery shop, Morrison's, Aldi and the pub. Uh, it, it is always better to live in a city centre because, well, it's much more populated and, you know, you've got the sense of security up there. So it, it, it's all up to you how you feel about living in a place that is crowded or living in a place that is quiet and calm and comforting. Uh, and the second thing you'll need to uh, weigh upon is the cost of the halls. Most halls of residence uh, uh, are almost of the same cost, but hey, if you live in London, good luck, mate. Sorry. Uh, but in a place like Bangor, which is really cheap because, well, it's a small city, uh, almost all, the ho all of the halls of residence are about the same cost. And, uh, well, the cost also depends upon whether you want a, whether you want an ensuite room or a non-ensuite room where you share your bathroom with four or five other people. And if, you, if, you're, if you're like, oh no, I'm not sharing my bathroom with anybody, I'm gonna keep it to myself, my precious. Then you're gonna you, you're gonna have to choose the ensuite room. If you think, oh, I'll manage it with you know my part-time job and my church and and all, you better choose the ensuite because hey, you have some privacy. Uh, if not, oh, well, I'm like, yeah, no problem, buddy. I can share it with anybody, and I'm I'm gonna spend all the extra money on going out and socializing with people. It's up to you. And of course, the very 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 important thing for survival is food. If you go, oh man, I can cook for myself, you know, I'm very, very, very self-efficient, self-sufficient, I can do it. Then you can always choose a non-catered hall where you share your kitchen with eight other people. Or you're like, the only thing I know how to cook is microwave pizza. Then you go, oh no, I can choose the catered halls. But it might be just a bit more costly. And if you think, oh no, I can just buy my groceries and cook for myself and you know, microwave a pizza or something without burning the house down, then you can always use non catered halls of residence because, well, that's easier and you know how to budget your money then. And of course, it's always about your flatmates. If, if you want to be with a friend, or you, you both are going to the same university, or we'll just live together in the same halls of residence. If you think like that, well, it's your choice really. But uh, what one would recommend is that you don't do that because you're already friends. You can always make more friends with your flatmates and course mates and whatnot. So you can live around the same halls of residence but not the same building so that you know you, you have a bigger peer group and you know you can socialize a lot with them as well so uh, it's all about how you choose your halls so that you can be very happy and enjoy your uni life so it's all up to you as to how you love to live your life and uh, i'm not going to tell you how to live yours but you can choose if you like my points please like share comment and subscribe to get ready for university channel and this is me raji signing off bye bye